Hey guys, Michael from Pinpoint Podiatry here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at the Nike Basketball Blueprint. So, show us how you play in three quick steps, find the perfect shoes for your game. So I'm guessing what this does is it asks you a few questions and based on the information you give them, they pick a shoe that they feel would be right for your play style. Now, as a podiatry student, when I'm giving advice on shoes or picking a shoe for myself, um, I tend to look at the function, so how the shoe is going to influence your foot um, and based on your in previous injury history and, and things like that. Um, the fit, the fit's also pretty important in terms of um, preventing certain things arising and also the comfort for the player and their play style. So let's start and take a look. So I'm pretty interested to see what I might get. Um, let me know if you guys have done this before as well, or um, if you do want to do it, head over to nike.com and you can check it out. So, your court. First, tell us where you play offensively. So, I'm probably a bit of a mix of everything. Can I shoot the three uh, occasionally? But I'll probably say mid-range is probably more my go. And then defense. Now, tell us where you play defensively. So, we've got the paint mid-range game and on the perimeter. I probably do most of my defending on the perimeter, I would say. Your offense. How do you play offense? Tap all that apply. Own the paint, attack the basket, score from anywhere, catch and shoot, and create off the dribble. Alrighty, so do I own the paint? Probably not. Attack the basket, yep, I'll do that. Score from anywhere. Yeah, look, um, I'm probably not going to brag or up note myself like that and we'll go catch and shoot probably not create off the dribble that's probably me your defense now these graphics are pretty cool i like the the black and white sort of style we've got going on here your defense how do you play defense defend the rim definitely not um pretty short not short but definitely not defending the rim kind of tall uh own the block no guard anyone i reckon i can do that Shadow the shooter, I can do that if I need to. And I'm usually covering the ball handler. So let's see. Now I think it's gonna generate some shoes for me based on what I just entered. Um, so I am the shifter. I play two ways like DeMar DeRozan, Paul George and Gordon Hayward. Not bad at all. My game is built on agility and speed to excel on both sides of the ball. I probably agree with that. I'm probably quite a fast kind of guy. I've never had any issues with speed. That's probably my biggest asset to be honest. And I need a low profile shoe with supreme flexibility, balanced cushioning and lockdown support. Now, supreme flexibility, depending on where the flexibility is, yes and no. We don't want something that's gonna be way too flexible, that's gonna cause um, problems, especially depending on your injury history and whatnot. A little bit of flexibility in the forefoot is fine that's normal that's going to let your foot function properly um, but maybe not so much through the midfoot and the heel balanced cushioning yep i'd probably agree with that i'm quite heavy on my feet and lockdown support so yeah lockdown support i'm guessing that just pretty much means um, holding your ankle joint and another joint called subtalar joint um, in a nice position so that we're not um, you know moving everywhere so the shoes I've gotten, PG1. I've never played in a PG1. I haven't seen one. I've only uh, seen what I've seen online. Seems like it's a pretty good shoe in terms of a budget sort of option. So a mesh and leather upper vent for ventilation and durability. Toe overlay improves durability and file on foam midsole for responsive cushioning and stability. So a file on midsole is probably a little less expensive than say your um, zoom or your lunar on and it's probably not quite as soft so you're probably going to get a firmer more responsive court sort of feel in a shoe like this um, and it's also a little bit cheaper so um, pg1 i'd be interested to see how um, i'd go in that type of a shoe nike zoom kd9 funny that that one's come up i've um I've actually had a pair of KD8s and I did quite enjoy them. The only problem I probably have with them, they're probably a little bit narrow in the toe box for me. So um, not a bad, not a bad suggestion, I guess. So three quarter collar height. Um, in terms of collar height and ankle stability, um, I've done other videos on it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but 
it's not going to make a huge difference in terms of support around the ankle to be honest um, maybe a little bit with a higher collar but there's other research that says a low uh, low top shoe can be beneficial in other ways um, mesh and foam around the heel add comfort um, i definitely say yeah it was probably quite a comfortable shoe and multi-directional traction pattern for durability and multi-surface grip ah uh, here we go k okay, uh, the kobe so kobe 18 kobe 80 nxt so my favorite shoe probably ever when i was fully uh serious into basketball was probably the kobe 5 i did enjoy that quite a lot so we've got a mesh upper for breathability and comfort flyby cables delivered dynamic lockdown and low top profile allows unrestricted movement yep so a low top shoe is going to allow a little bit more motion through those joints uh let's see flyby cables so i've heard good and bad things about the flyby cables some people um find that they wear out quite quickly apparently um, whether or not they influence your foot and the way it sits in the shoe um, hard to say i think it might a little bit um, but haven't had too much experience with it kobe ad nxt so this looks a little bit different i'm not really sure what the go is there with the string i'm guessing that's the fixation for this um, overlay of mesh here so mesh inner sleeve for snug breathable support Flex screws in the forefoot allow your foot to flex naturally. So like I said before, flex in the forefoot's good. Um, but I'm not too sure if there's any sort of fixation here. I can see the flywire cables here, but I'm not sure if there's any lacing or anything underneath that. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure about that shoe. Um, but not bad, I think. Uh, I think definitely these shoes would be a, a decent option for me. Um, can't really complain too much so now i'd be interested to see what we would get if we tried something a little bit different so let's just say we're going to be a big man now i've grown um 10 inches i'm now seven feet tall and um, we're going to um, see what shoe is best for me so i'm 75 percent in the paint and 25 i'm old school no big man out on the three-point line for me uh, let's see, I'll uh, play all my defense in the post and occasionally out in the mid-range. My offense, so offense, I'm, I'm going to bang down low in the post. So I'm going to own the paint and attack the basket. And uh, my defense, I'm definitely going to be protecting that rim um, and owning that block, that's for sure. So let's see what shoes we get now. So I think the playstyle is the Elevator. That's a pretty cool name. I own the paint like DeAndre Jordan, Hassan Whiteside, and Julius Randle. My game is built on power and vertically to perform around the basket and control the boards. I need a high profile shoe with lockdown and support and maximum cushion. So I'd be interested to actually try one of these shoes myself if it's maximum cushion. I am quite heavy on my feet. Maximum cushion would be good for people or got, if any of you guys have any heel sort of pain or plantar fasciitis, that might be a solid option for you. Um, so let's take a look. So we've got LeBron 14, I think that says, hopefully I'm right. Heel padding delivers a cushion locked in feel, leather accents on top of the toe and tongue top. So we've got a little bit of everything in this shoe by the looks of it. Um, so we've got a, a little bit more cushioning in that heel so any of you guys who might be a bit younger if you've ever heard of severs or calcaneal apothecitis if not don't worry about it um, just a little bit of extra cushioning will always help with any sort of heel pain nike zoom air cushioning provides a responsive feel underfoot heel padding provides a cushion locked in feel so i'm guessing the lebron is sort of the the beast of all of these shoes um, a little bit more cushion, a little bit clunkier, um, but you're going to be getting a little bit more support and a little bit more. Um, the shoe's going to do a little bit more of the work than having, rather having your feet do it. So a lot of shock absorption, which is good. Um, and then we've got some more LeBron. So LeBron Soldier 11, soft foam molded around the ankle for exceptional comfort. Lightweight foam midsole for soft, stable cushioning and notches on the collar for easy fixation on so um i don't really know if there's any 
benefit to having a strap over a lace. Um, there's no, I haven't seen any evidence or research on it, but as long as you've got something um, that's locking you in, laces or straps, I don't really have too much of a problem. Um, I'd be interested to see what the LeBron Soldier 11 actually plays like. I have seen some reviews on it, um, and so far they've been pretty positive. And let's just go one more. Let's see what else. So Isaiah Thomas, yep, all right. Good player. Um, let's see. Let's just say we can do everything. Let's say, um, let's go with, let's just say we're like a real sort of perimeter kind of guy. We just don't really play in the paint. Um, which is going to be funny because I'm going to say I play offense in the paint here. But let's just say, yep, we're the greatest of all time. Crowd off the dribble. We catch off, catch and shoot. Get, score from anywhere. Attack the basket and own the paint. Let's see. And defensively, mate, we're just unstoppable on the defensive end as well. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. That's not even a problem. And defending the rim, I was born to do that too. So let's see what the, what this shoe actually comes in with. Creator. Interesting. Uh, Bledsoe can uh, definitely protect the rim. He's an absolute beast. Don't know about these two blokes here, but I like to create like Eric Bledsoe, Kyrie Irving, and Reggie Jackson. My game is built on quickness and improvisation. I need a flexible to low mid-profile mid shoe with a responsive midsole. So the midsole is going to be a little bit firmer, I'm guessing, for a more on-court feel. So I've never seen these two shoes. Um, I'm guessing these are more budget pairs. Now these prices are American. I'd love to get a, a shoe for 80 bucks, but can't do that here in Australia. So textile and synthetic materials offer breathable comfort. Flywire cables integrate with laces for a lockdown fit and file on foam midsole. So yeah, like I spoke about before, the file on foam midsole, it's just gonna be a little bit firmer, not quite as plush as say your Lunalon or your, your Zoom Air. Um, lightweight upper for breathable support. Asymmetrical flywire design provides dynamic containment and file on midsole delivers lightweight stable ride. Kyrie, here we go. This is this is a bit more what we want to see. So lightweight injected file on foam maximizes court feel. There you go. So the Kyries are quite funny. They've almost got sort of a rocker sort of midsole here. So in the forefoot. So if you have any forefoot pain, they actually might be quite good in terms of offloading those joints up in the forefoot. So um, that's something to take a look at. Hyperfuse construction for durable support and breathability and molded corder design for added detail and texture. And then we've got the Kobe's again. So I can see a few more other play styles. Um, we won't make this video go too long, so you guys can jump onto nike.com and play around with that. Um, so. Let me know how you go, guys. Um, I want to see what your play style is and what you guys think of the um, Nike Basketball Blueprint. Um, if you have any questions regarding footwear or injuries, feel free to comment down below or you can even message me um, on Instagram or Facebook at Pinpoint Podiatry. Um, and be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of shoe reviews um, based on your injuries. So in the next day or two, I actually have a Jordan 31 low performance review coming out it's going to be a little bit different so make sure you're watching so something a little bit different like i said to other youtubers we're still going to have the conventional things but we're going to use a little bit more science so um like i said like this video comment subscribe and guys as always be an ankle breaker don't get your ankles broken and i'll see you in that next video